I went to the ISTE conference yesterday in New Orleans and I learned about this amazing website called Symbaloo.com and it's free and you can sign up, log in and the cool thing about it is that you could create a page of just information that you want your students to use. The first time you use it, you do want to sign up and then once you're you're signed up, you would go ahead and log in. And this is a page that I have put together and you create this by clicking on my web mixes and then you can add a web mix in here. And this is my Moss help sites. So what this is are all sites that I can use to help my students pass their Microsoft Office specialist exams. The way that you add to this block, these blocks is simply by clicking on it and then putting an email address or any kind of address. So I'm going to put a new YouTube link. So I have one, but this is another one that I like that teaches resources on the MOS exams. All I'll do is click on the little button and then control V, this is Mike's office, and I will add it. It shows up as a YouTube link because it is a YouTube subscription site. If I wanted to change this, I could just click on edit. You can change the colors. You can change your picture of what you want to show up, or you can actually use some of their pictures that they have embedded in here. So for example, I have another site Let's say I want to use this Certiport site that I have here. And I want to copy the link here. And then I'll go back, click, Control V for add title, and my Certiport YouTube site. If I wanted these to be distinguished by not just YouTube, I could change the look of it. Another one I have is a Microsoft site. So let me go ahead and grab that one. And this is another YouTube site. And I'll go ahead and click on it. Notice it does give you some examples here at the bottom of things that you can go ahead and add. And you see this one looks a little bit different because the Microsoft site had a picture. If I wanted to include um, a site that I might find that doesn't have a picture embedded like this site what I did was I edited and I went ahead and I changed the picture and I uploaded the picture from my computer to make this little box and you can move them around as much as you like and you can fill this up with as many as you want you can choose a background image and this is the free version, so it does have ads that pop up on the side, but the pay version, you don't have ads. Another sample that they have in here is this is an education site. So right here, you can see it shows all different little education apps that students can go to. So I thought that this was extremely cool website that you can create and share with your students. So now that I have all my Microsoft specialist sites on here, I could easily share this link to my students by copying it to the clipboard and then including it in their Canvas course. And then they could go to this page and learn about all the things they need to know about the Microsoft exam. So imagine teaching math and you wanna include a plethora of topics on math, you can fill this up with all math websites or videos or links or pretty much anything. And then the students can go and go to this site, click on it, and we'll get to those exact pages that you've linked. Isn't this amazing? I thought this site was extremely cool. I hope you enjoy it.